Hey guys, welcome to BitGlen, and today we're going to be discussing the Envian ICO that I'm thinking of investing in on December the 1st and also people getting hacked. So let's get on with it and to start off with, we're going to be bringing up the, and I do apologise before we continue, my voice is really bunged up and I've got a really bunged up nose and headache. I was going to go to bed early, but I thought I'd do this video and then I'll go to bed. So it's currently uh, 20 past nine at night and I was... Um, given this link today for uh, hacked.com, never heard of them before, but uh, went on there today and they actually do ICO ratings. And one of those is um, on Envium, which I thought, great, I can get someone else's opinion on it. And reading their article, um, which I'd done earlier, but now it asks you to, I think now that I've read it once, I, I have to sign up or something and pay same for it. So I don't know, I'm, I might actually do it if they've, uh, their content's pretty good. Um, so basically in the article, they were saying, that um, Envian start, uh, is a very promising company and they've got some really good ideas and the, the business plan that they're setting out seems very good at the offset. Uh, but there was a couple of things that they queried and weren't too sure about and that was one, the team. Um, they said that the team uh, looked very young in a photo of all the team put together. Apparently it looked like a load of teenagers, which personally I haven't got an issue with because I'm sure young clever people can do a lot better than uh, old people that are set in their way. So um, I've got no issues with the age of the group. So something that, again, this is obviously I'm doing my research. You take from them what you will. Um, some points they'll make that you think, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. And some you think, nah, I don't actually. So you take from it what you what you feel is right and wrong. And um, the other issue was about the supply chain of their GPUs and Antminer S9. So obviously they're predominantly a... Uh, mining company so they're going to be mining at a very uh, low uh, cost um, way of doing things with the electricity that they're getting and they're building these containers which can be shipped anywhere and uh, they're just full of GPUs as you'll see in this video um, but they were questioning how they're getting hold of all these GPUs because at the minute, currently, everyone's trying to mine. So everyone's buying these GPUs, everyone's buying these S, uh, S9s, which I think you can see a couple in the video up there at the top. Um, so their next container, they're saying, is instead of all these um, these G normal GPUs, they're going to have all uh, 48 Ant Miner S9s just mining, obviously, the ASIC uh, code, obviously being Bitcoin. And uh, they were questioning how they're getting hold of these because if you actually go on the uh, Ant Ant Miners uh, well, Bitmain, sorry, website, they're all sold out everywhere. So they're saying, now oh, how they're getting hold of these? Again, they could be, uh, they may have a contract already in place with them, and they may have organised this six months ago with them, um, like an order. So we don't know that. But when the hack.com tried questioning them on it, they just kept replying apparently with, we cannot discuss our supply chain. So um, no one actually knows, obviously they do, but um, where they actually getting these from. Now, a bold statement that hack.com, at the end of the verdict of their review, it said that um, a lot of people in the community feel like this is a $150 million heist. So that sent alarm bells ringing off in my head. Well, if they're saying this, you know, who am I? I'm just little old Glenn sitting here. Um, you know, <laughs> I'm not an expert on these things. So, um, you know, but then they were on the flip side of that. They also said, but if they manage to pull off what they're saying they're going to do, they're a very promising company and um, there's a lot to be seen from this company yet. So um, I was reading some bits because I've actually joined them on Telegram uh, Facebook and Twitter and if you follow their links there they try and answer everyone's questions and people have got a lot of questions um, asking them all sorts of things about their backgrounds their history their um, where they used to work and how they got the sack from there or why did they leave um, really getting sort of personal but I suppose if you're investing your own money then you want to know so fair play to them they asked and a lot of the questions got answered some of them didn't or some of them got sort of uh, swept under the rug very quickly um, but then I, I don't know how to take it part of me thinks you know you can't just go out there and just explain to the whole world every in and out detail of every deal that you've made because then it's easily replicated by someone else who's got the money there ready to go so 
do they keep their cards close to their chest and hope that it pays off or do they show it to everyone make everyone feel at ease and potentially lose something later on I don't know so I don't know the answer to that um so yeah it's still up in the air uh, me and uh, my friend Nathan, we still feel confident about investing in them. They actually released a video, a live video, Facebook Live, and loads of people commenting on it as it was going on, of them uh, building their second unit, uh, if I can find it. Um, and it was a really good video. Like you, you saw them actually making the unit. There we go. So this is them drilling the holes for the air vents that are going to go in there, and obviously all the uh, ant miners, how they're going to be cooled down. Um, you know, once my, um, once my friend Nathan saw this, he said, oh yeah, that makes me feel more reassured seeing that because, you know, they're building what, you know, they're already building a second unit and it all looks legit. So if they are pulling off a stunt, they're putting in a lot of effort, a lot of time and effort, but I suppose you would for 150 million pound, but you know, they're putting their names to it, they're putting their faces to it, so if they did run off with £150 million, there's not going to be many places they can hide, so I just don't know really guys, I, I, I really hope it isn't, I hope it is a really good idea, because um, I've actually put off, you know, doing the Genesis mining, because I want to invest in this mining company as a start off, I want to get in there with these guys, and I really hope that they do well obviously um, so that I can get either some mining going on over a long period of time or obviously the token price goes up um, so there you go that's my thoughts on Envian so far so that's what I as of uh, November the 22nd their sale goes on in eight days time and that's where I'm at sort of on the fence at the minute um, I'm really really hoping fingers crossed that they're not a scam but then this is what you have to do with ICOs. Uh, when you're looking into them, there's no guarantees. Even if it's not a scam, let's just say these guys are not a scam. There's no guarantee that they actually do this. They get the hundred million pounds or 150 million. And it's some for some reason, supply chain, uh, patterns and uh, laws and regulation, stuff like that, that it doesn't actually work. Like, you know, they actually fail at doing what they said they'll do. So that could always happen. Even if you see a company that you think, yeah, they've got a brilliant idea and I really trust these guys, it still may not take off. So it really is a gamble. So I've sort of come back a bit. I was looking to invest more into this company but I'm actually going to reserve back try and be a bit more reserved and maybe put in a bit less um, just because now I'm not sure either way um, which is a shame because I was going to sort of put a decent amount in when I say decent amount I was talking about two or three grand but now I'm not too sure now um, so we'll see how it goes I'm going to invest some money and I'm going to put in an amount probably 500 to a grand Something that I'm willing to lose if if this goes down. Whereas if three grand, if I lost three grand, I'd I'd be absolutely devastated. So, again, my piece of advice to you: before you invest in anything like this, even if it's Bitcoin or you know saying that you're sure, only invest what you're willing to lose. What you're willing to wake up one day and say, oh, "I've lost all that." Oh well, you know, that's my point. Anyway, so that's uh, Envian. But bringing a side note onto the um, you know uh, scams and hacks and stuff like that, um, noticing on YouTube actually a few YouTubers, um, some of the biggest ones actually, which obviously they're going to be targeted because they're the biggest ones and they've got the biggest uh, Bitcoin accounts. What upsets me about this the most actually though is that these guys like uh, Tre Trevon James and uh, Crypto Nick, um, these guys are... In my opinion, it, they're, they're giving us live information. If you was to see a news report on Bitcoin and, uh, you know, BitConnect, they would just show you, you know, they would give you snippets of what's really going on. They'd only show you the titles, the headline, the, the juicy bit, you know, because that obviously gets views. These guys are doing videos a bit like what I'm trying to set up doing. They're doing honest videos and showing you their accounts. Now, yeah, they earn money from referrals and it, it's in their interest to make videos and refer, get more referrals and stuff like that. But forgetting all of that, they're putting information out there to us. Um, you know, they're showing, I mean, this video seems to be of him talking a lot. But generally, if you look through his videos, 
it's just uh, like what I'm doing now. He's recording his laptop screen. So he's showing you him signing in and out of his Bitcoins account and um, what websites he uses and stuff like that. So there's people out there that are trying to take advantage of people that are trying to help other people. Um, and that's that's a shame, actually. So uh, Crypto Nick talks about here that they actually used, um, from the websites that he was using and his uh, email accounts, getting hold of um, a phone number and changing... You know, uh, some of you may not know, because I don't think I've shown you before, but when you try and sign into Genesis Mining or what's the other one? Um, any any of the cryptocurrency ones, really, they all ask you for a second auth um, authentication code. So that's actually using this uh, app here. I don't know if you can see that. This Google Authenticator here, you it generates a code on the app that... Um, it allows you to log in for that split second. It gives you like a time frame, like 10 seconds or something to use that code and you can log in. And what they've done is they apparently they have, uh, I don't know if this is true or not, I'm just going by what Nick said here, that they've uh, managed to reset his passwords or uh, using his phone, using the uh, app because they've redirect changed his phone number on some of these accounts. And um, yeah, just withdraw all his money, which apparently was something like a hundred and saying bitcoins, um, which is insane. Apparently, it was nine hundred thousand dollars. So you're talking near a million uh, million pounds, I believe, um, which is insane. Uh, you know, when I heard that, it made me feel sick. So I don't know how the hell this uh, Trevon James, even though he may feel like he earned it, not easily because obviously he's taken risks, but you know he's. Uh, I I would I'd feel I'd feel devastated. I'd I'd want to go and kill someone probably. <laughs> um oh no, there you go, hundred and eleven bitcoins, which at the minute they're eight thousand dollars. So yeah. Yeah, you're talking well over uh, nine hundred thousand. So um this brings me on to my main point. So when you're investing in ICOs, whether you're just storing Bitcoin, whether you are responsible for your own currency, your your you are your own bank. And uh, obviously, I don't know how it is in America, but in the UK, you know, I, I had my account hacked once before and I actually had £5,000 withdrawn. I had a £5,000 overdraft. Someone got hold of my um, current account card and they actually uh, just bought loads of stuff on it from China, obviously. Um, God damn those fucking Chinese. And they uh, bought like four or five grand's worth of uh, garden furniture or something like that. But the bank said it was untraceable and the money had already gone. So obviously I was devastated. I was like, well, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And the bank just said, yeah, we're going to investigate it. And if it does turn out that it was fraudulent activity, then um, you'll get all the money back. There you go, just like that. And I was like, oh, okay. So I sat back, waited, I think, two days, 48 hours, and the money was back in my account. That's great. I mean, that is, I mean, that is what you want, isn't it? You know, your money is there in an account and it's secure. And, you know, you got all these people saying, you know, uh, Bitcoins are untraceable and no one knows, you know, trans, no one can know what you're spending and stuff like that. But then on the flip side, no one can help you get that money back because no one knows where it's gone. No one knows who's got it. So you have to look after yourself. And um, Nick mentions about the, um, hardware devices and printing paper off as uh, your key card so getting a piece of paper and just printing off all your key uh, phrases and your um, passwords for your accounts don't leave them on your computer or in your emails um, I mean admittedly that's the same card do I well I'll put see this is what I'm I'm worried now talking to you guys I'm sitting here thinking what can I and I can't say in front of these people in case one of them is a hacker and he thinks, oh, Glenn's just gave away that he stores it on this, this and this. So it's a shame because I want to be as transparent with you guys as I can be and I want to be as honest as I can be. But if people are stopping me from doing that, then uh, it is a real big shame. I mean, luckily, well, I'll say luckily, but um, I've only got like 50 to 100 pound invested in uh, online cryptocurrency. These guys have got hundreds of thousands, so they've got a lot more to lose. So it just goes to show you the biggest YouTubers, I, I believe anyway, the biggest, most popular YouTubers on here getting hacked. So, you know, they've they've taken the hit 
um, for us because now people like me have watched what has happened to them and think I need to secure myself so there's in fear they're still helping us um, but that's not they probably don't want to hear that when they've just lost 900,000 so I really feel for you Trevon James and uh, Nick and um, it's a shame and I hope obviously that thing doesn't happen to anyone really anyone that sort of made money you get those people that are um, I, don't, I don't mean to sound self-righteous and that, but you get some people that they'll say, hey, look at me, you know, I've got this car and I've got this fucking da 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 and I, all I did was I just did this, this and this and I was in the right place at the right time and they're really cocky about it and you just think, I hope he loses all his money. We do, didn't we? Like, let's admit it, like, I, I'm not trying to sound like an arsehole, but we think, I hope something happens to that guy. But when you've got guys here that are just literally sitting in front of their computers going, here, guys, I think you should do this. I recommend you do that. Guys, don't do this. Don't fall for this. And they're saying, look, I'll show you my account just to show you I'm not chatting shit. When they're saying stuff like that and showing you that what they're doing is true and someone takes advantage of that and steals from them, um, I mean, I'm sure these guys now are going to have to be careful with what they say and show on their computers, which means we then lose out because now we're not going to get the full picture or the full story. We just have to, you know, hope or, you know, it's just a shame. But anyway, that's my thoughts on it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments section and just stay safe out there. Make sure you have all your money backed up somewhere that no one knows and uh, no one has seen. So now I'm thinking all my accounts, my Exodus and my Coinbase, my Genesis Mining, I've shown it all. In the very short time that I've been on YouTube, I've shown all every step of the way. So anyone watching my videos could be like, oh, yeah, he did actually. He showed me his account in the first video. Oh, well, I could try and hack that. So um, it's starting to make me think what I should and shouldn't show you guys, which is a real shame because I don't want to be like that. But um, let me know what you think down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook, all BitGlen. And uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel. There's a little coin down here, I believe, somewhere down here. <laughs> And um, I'll see you guys on the next video of Bicklin. See you later, guys. Bye.